well hello and welcome back to another vlog i'm just getting ready i've already been up um i've been doing a bit this morning and i have literally what's time now it's gone 12 and i thought i'd just run my straightness through my hair because um my hair looked like i'd gone through a bush backwards but yeah i hope you're all okay thanks so much for returning um i hope you liked the whole vlog last week um that was very exciting because I had so much to style up and put around the house. Just running the straightness through, sometimes it just makes you feel so much better, doesn't it? Anyway, right, let me, um, oh, that I have to do. Oh, I'm really hot now. Hello, welcome back to another vlog again, as I said. I hope you're all okay. So thanks so much for returning. It's great to see you again. Um, life's not that exciting. I don't know what this vlog is going to entail because we're not doing a lot and today it is grey it's grey grainy it's grey it's windy it's rainy it's completely rubbish it's proper english but i hope you're all okay i hope you're all doing okay during lockdown i hope you're all keeping busy and my vlogs hopefully can help a few things i need to do today i need to sort out this this is the problem my dressing table has turned it just looks like I've just dropped boots on it. I don't really know why. I don't know how it gets this messy of just stuff. So I need to have a sort out of that now. So I'll uh, put you on a quick time lapse and sort that out. And yeah, we need to do some hoovering, some tidying. I've got Harry with us today. If I spin you round, it's a puppy who's obviously probably telling me to bugger off. Oh. Oh. He's like, Mom, I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, mate. So the plans are to just sort this out, make a cup of tea. I still need to, I look really yellow. Why am I so yellow? Right, I've decided, I've perched you up on here, right. Let's start with that again. I've perched you up here because I don't, we don't really get a lot of sunlight in there. He's really hot in this room. We don't get a lot of sunlight in this room. Um, not sunlight, we don't get a lot of good lighting over in that side of the room, because um, that's where my dressing table is, which is silly really, because when I do my makeup, it probably comes a little patchy. But I thought I'd stand here, because right by the window, and you can actually see me, and I don't look yellow. But yeah, I hope you are all okay. Hope you loved the whole vlog yesterday. Not yesterday, don't know why I said that. <laughs> Last week, um, I got lots of nice things. I did actually get a little, I got H&M, what's wrong with me today? I got a H&M package today because I had to send one of my jumpers back because it was the wrong size. That means I had to place another order and something accidentally slipped into the basket. So that's arrived as well. <laughs> yeah, not much else to report really. I had loads of comments about how I make my bed that I made in the last vlog. Let me spin you round because quite a lot of you were like, oh, I've never rolled like the duvet like that. And oh, that looks really nice. So I thought I'd show you in this vlog really quickly my bed. So yeah. This is our bed. And this is one of the things that you guys questioned last week. We obviously have the Super King pillowcases and then we have the standard pillows as well. Um, these are the Oxford and I've also got the Dusk ones that I mentioned last week. Then I've also got these big cushions at the front. I've got two and then the middle one. But with my duvet, I roll it, it's hard to show you, I roll it over. But instead of just leaving like the end, I then tuck the end so it kind of looks more fluffy and then I've obviously got the throw as well but with the throw you guys also picked up that I don't have it straight I kind of have it ruffled just because I feel the ruffled looks I kind of got it from where did I get it from I think I got it from Neptune I think I saw the style of ruffling like not having a clean crisp throw from where I see it I think it might have been someone's account on Instagram. But I swear Neptune do this, where you, your throws aren't perfect. They're kind of ruffled. And it just brings a bit more softness. So that's what I decided to, to do from now on. And it also means that not everything has to look perfect. Because I like, I love, in, I love imperfectly perfect, perfectly imperfect items. So, um, yeah. 
Right, I'm gonna go grab a cup of tea and then I'm gonna crack on with doing my dressing table, get that sorted. Um, Harry's having a snooze, which I wish I was, but I need to be doing stuff. But yeah, I think I think coffee first. Let's do coffee. <laughs> Look at me. Look how big that bed is compared to him. You gonna stay there? Yeah? Okay. Right, let's venture. It's so dark in this house and all the lights make me look really yellow. So, whoops. Don't drop you. So I do apologise that um oh this is also a job that I need to do that Luke's been badgering me around that I know I need to finish it but it's really tricky. I'll turn you around and show you. So see these are our stairs and we need to ideally put something in this space. We had two marks up here and there were just two holes. I can't remember what. So why is that not focusing? Okay, this isn't focusing, but you've got two holes there and I filled them in. But they've been filled in for months and I haven't sanded them down and I haven't put a lick of paint over. But I thought, because I'm getting the white paint out to go in the grey room and to white paint a section so I can do the testers, I thought I would sand that and then I can paint that white as well, save me washing up kind of two sets of brushes. So I will, will do that. That is on the list to do because you ignore it because it's on the ceiling. I never really look up and see it, but Luke keeps reminding me, so I do need to do that. So that's definitely on the job list at some point. So whether that's in this vlog or not, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Still got stuff to put up in Depop, as you can see. There's still stuff sitting on the floor. So I will do that. Oh, you're not gonna help me tidy up my dressing table. No. Okay, you've got to sleep, sleep. I'll do it on my own. Right, I've had um, another H&M parcel arrive, so I'm quickly going to open this with you now, um, so you can see what I got. So the first off, I ordered this in a small, and it was too small. So I um, went for a medium. I think it's going to be a better size. It's just like I think it's called a. I think it's actually green, but it doesn't look green. It's like kind of like a beigey stone colour. It's just a plain jumper. Just like that. And I think this is a much better size. I like the, um, I just like it being a bit bigger. It's just like a casual, casual jumper. So yeah, I'm pleased with this one. I like the colour as well. Natural nude, as we do. Right, second one. Let me try and do the little flicky thing again. Did Luke want me? So second one is this, which is a classic stripe roll neck. It is cream with the, I think they're navy or black? I think they might be black, black stripes on. So I thought it was quite nice for the spring winter transition. Um, so I got this one. So let's see if I can do this again. Ready? Found it that, that easy. I've tucked it in slightly just here because I think it looks, better tucked in but yeah this is nice quite classic I went for a medium again I probably could have gotten away with a small but I don't like things too which I say all the time so yeah this is a good one I'm impressed with this I like this probably if I tuck it all the way around it might <laughs> but um obviously if you don't tuck it in it's a bit more casual I think with maybe skinny black jeans might be quite nice um yeah that's good. Right, let me change back and then we can um, crack on. So, there we go. Much better. Right, now time to actually tackle this. Um, I've just thrown these on the floor trying to do them transitions. <laughs> Let's hang them up. And this one, I'm gonna keep them both. I like them both, so um, that's a good start. They were, that's 12.99 and I think this was I think it was 12 99 as well. Oh, it hasn't got a price. But I had I got the 15% off, which they had on at the moment. So that's good. So happy with those. Right, let's get this, um, let's get this dressing table done because I'll keep putting it off. <laughs> I 
I actually decided to not just do this side. Hold on, let me turn the TV off. So instead of um, just doing the makeup dressing table, I did the drawers as well. So I'm just going to show you um, whether you're interested or not. I'm still going to show you because I feel really good now. It's all organised. <laughs> so in here we've got like headbands, headbands. <laughs> Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought then. And then I've got some necklaces and some like tip tape and things like that. In this drawer, I've got hair products, face wipes, which I won't ever use, but just keeping them. Um, and also loads of like free little sachet of hair things. And then this one makes me really excited. So in here, I've got, oh look, all my Elmer's stuff and Clarins and bits and pieces. Oh, and also, um, of the month and then i've also got like tropics and perfumes jerome loans bits and pieces so yeah i feel very organized so what i'm gonna do now oh no <laughs> oh no this isn't good hold on so what i need to do now is give this room a hoover so i'm gonna hoover and then i'm gonna tackle the bits that are by the bed because i seem to have moved stuff off of the, the dressing table just onto the bed and that's not actually sorting it out so let me just quickly hoover um, and then we'll finish that off and then move on to that. Oh. Okay so we're hoovered Oh, and I'm really sweaty. Ooh, nearly forever. So we are hoovered and nice and tidy and clean. Everything in that hallway I need to take downstairs. So I've got like foliage, I've got em empty the bin, Miss Sheen, <coughs> old socks that I found in my sock drawer. So I will go do that now, but I'm literally. <sighs> oh, the rad in this room is on too high. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't Hope you're all well. Um, I left you finishing off doing my bedroom and then I went to edit some of the vlog and then I think I just got lazy. So I'm up this morning, I'm ready and I'm gonna tackle these holes in the wall. I think I explained this to you before that I've already filled holes up in the ceiling about a year ago and Luke's been going on and on and on and on about me to get it done and I thought, do you know what, I'll just do it. So I've got my, um, what are they called? Sanded blocks. Got my sanded blocks and I'm gonna lay um, an old duvet cover on the floor because I'll probably get covered because you're kind of doing it above you. And I'm also gonna pull down, it's really awkward <laughs> because obviously it's over the stairs, but I've worked out if I pull down the um, loft hatch, I can use those stairs and lean over and sand. So I'm gonna do that now and then I will quickly show you the colors and what we're gonna potentially try and paint in the gray room, which I'm so excited about. Okay, that's the best I'm gonna get. I think it's pretty good. Let me just clean up, hold on. Okay, so it's sanded. I don't know whether you can see from there. Where is it, hold on. Here, there. Both are sanded, oh I need to go on tiptoes, all sanded down so I'm just going to put this away then I'm going to wipe it with a wet cloth and get rid of any of the dust um, and then um, um, I'm not going to grab the paint out until I do the grey room but let me take you in there and tell you what I want to do in that room because yeah it's all happening. <laughs> right so just perch up in here so this is our little box grey room so this room 
was this colour when we moved in. We've done nothing to it, just uh, beds, side tables and kind of interior styling. But <laughs> I can probably show you, but there's like nicks and bumps and chunks of white all over the shop. So I'm going to give it a complete rejuge because I think it needs one. You saw in my last vlog that I had the, the Rust-Oleum samples arrived so i'm excited to try them i really only want to try steamed milk that's the only one i really want to give a go and then i also picked up a couple from neptune so i picked up old chalk lily and dove gray these i was thinking for this room but also other places in the house um because i want to do some more paneling i want to panel in here which is very exciting and also in the blue room as well and i'm sure i'll end up doing the hallway and the stairs and ride it ride it but at the moment we need to just walk before we can run <laughs> um so i've got these three neptunes also to try i'll probably try old chalk and lily um in this room i might test them and then i've also wanted to try the paint samples from the little green company or greeny i think it's little green company i've heard some really good things about their paint um and they've got some beautiful colors this is their basic chart i mean look kind of says it all really so they have such a wide range of colors but they also sent me their um green selection their gray selection as well but the one that i was really interested was their new stone so this is their stone booklets and their new colors so they had some um what color was it they had this portland portland range that i think looked lovely so i haven't actually ordered any samples of these yet because i have a funny feeling that i'm going to like either the neptune one or the steamed milk from rastodium but i'm definitely going to look at these colors for other rooms in the house because i feel like this is nice <laughs> i like them so yes i've got lots of samples going on but what i will do is i'm going to paint a chunk of this grey, what? Because because it's grey and I'm going lighter. I need to obviously make it all white. I think I have to paint the whole room white first. Maybe not. I'm gonna see. I might put some testers on the wall, two coats, and see if it if it looks okay. Um, but I have a funny feeling that I need to paint it all white before I paint the main colour. And then we're also gonna do panelling on here. So once I've chosen the colour, what I might do is I'll do the panelling, then paint the whole room white, and then paint one of the. Um, colours that I've chosen so this is the next room to be done it is a small room it is a box room it doesn't get a lot of light but it's just like a little cute room so it's actually one of my faves but we do, it does need a bit of a I've tried my best with obviously I love this bed um the, these might need to change and then prints might need to change I might put them somewhere else I might have a mirror I don't know yet. I need to work it out, but we've got lots of paint samples and paint options, so exciting. Very exciting. Oh, and also these curtains I've had for about six months, I still haven't put them up. I could put them up now, but there's no point if I'm repainting the room because I'm going to have to take them down so they can live in the packaging as well. <laughs> so yeah, so there's lots going on. I think I might do a whole vlog on this room. Um, I think it's probably the best way to do it, just to get the whole grey, do like a grey room vlog. It's not, well it won't be a grey room anymore, do a box room vlog, <laughs> bed, guest bedroom vlog, whatever you want to call it, um, including the panelling and the painting and if I can do any restyling bits because I think these um, side lamps are going to have to go as well but we'll just have to wait and see. It's all a work in progress but I'm pleased. I'm pleased we're getting this room done because it's been like this for, th for three years and I love this colour but you know and you just had a room for that colour for too long and I'm like I'm a bit bored of it now so yeah I just need to give it a bit of a spruce up. I'm just thinking is there much else to report on decorating I'm still waiting on a few bits for the console table so um I, I can't show you that yet I'm sorry so I'm just waiting for some baskets and some vases and some books and stuff so when that comes I will do a console a console styling in one of my next kind of daily vlogs but I now need to go and um, have myself some lunch and then I think I might chill out for the rest of the afternoon so I will do my best to pop out pop back on um, a little bit later but um yeah right so let's just 
loads of cup of tea. Do you want sugar? Are you making us tea? Yeah, I'm making you a tea. Hey, yes, you said pop the kettle on, so kind of means bake. Can you make me a tea? <laughs> Do you want bis have we got any biscuits? Biscuits? So do, we <laughs> so do we have any? Have you eaten them all? I think they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, tea for you. Can't help it. It's locked down, don't worry about that, babe. Right, let's do my lunch. So, I'm gonna come carrying you like on my tripod, so this is really difficult. So for lunch today, I, if I pop you there. Again, let's close this. Oh, you'd like to know that I did actually remove the um, Christmas wreath, if you saw in my vlog, um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I shut the door and my Christmas wreath was still there, so it's really, really inconvenient. I've been really good all week. I've prepped my meals, so I've got here, if I zoom you in, I've got salmon, rice and veg. This is boring yet healthy food, so it's how I'm gonna get into my bride's, bride's dress. I was gonna say bride's bride dress then. It's how I was gonna get into my wedding dress. Um, I'm gonna eat this and then um, I'm gonna watch a bit of TV. So to be fair, I'll probably just leave the vlog here. So um, hopefully you liked it. It's really hard because we're at home and on the weekends, like there's, I've got home DIY bits to do, but I need to spread them out throughout the vlogs. So yeah, hopefully you like it. Give it a little thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe and it, as it means the world. Anything that I've shown you or that I can link, I will link in the description box down below. So I'll put it down there for you. But um, yeah, hopefully you have a lovely evening, morning, whenever you're watching this and I will catch up with you in my next vlog. I'm so weird. <laughs>